the process of self-discovery. That's what we're all moving through throughout our lives and we're going through it especially now. And I have known about this and I've been receiving the information for a long time. And I know that's challenging for people to accept, like how could I have gotten this information? And I, when I talked about my program, I said I received all that information in 2012. People found that unbelievable. I said it could change your life. and. Re and people said, no, that couldn't possibly happen because we are programmed to believe we can't change and we can't do anything or become more. I was like that too. However, there was something else going on that the life that I lived gave me a different perspective because I, as I've recently said, I'm a mystic. So I've known these things, but it was also difficult for me to tell you because I happen to also be introverted. I'm intuitive introvert and that's the most difficult personality that you can find and also along with being an INFJ if you know Myers-Briggs but um, regardless I'm going to tell you what I'm doing now because all of that I have to leave behind and I have to jump over my feeling of being introverted or having that as an excuse that holds me back which it has been for a while and I'm going to read you something from 2017 because it talks about what I know and what we're all moving through now the difference is I receive information earlier I'm precognitive as I've said so along with all of these it's been very confusing for me but I'll read you the message and I'll explain a bit of it because I do understand it now what I mean by that I will receive information that I don't understand. It's gone on my entire life. Um, there were times where I would see, write words that I didn't know the meaning of them and I would get receive a message, look it up. And then when I did, I would have more information. That's what I've done. This is why I said a long time ago, I couldn't possibly charge anyone enough money t for my services for what I have developed throughout my life. And but. I will figure that out but let me read you this first because this is the work that I'm going to do with those who want to become really happy and successful because our world needs that now this was November the 14th of 2017 the process of self-discovery is one that at times will feel exhilarating to you and at other times terrifying and where you hold any experience of regret <sighs> That sentence did not make sense to me when it came through, and that happens all the time, but it makes sense now because I have a lot of regret. Because I have regret because I knew what I held back and what I could have offered. Most of my clients do that. You have done that. It's about we know we have something. We can't grab it. We're not moving there. We have to go to a counselor or a mentor or a coach or whatever, and then eventually maybe we'll get it. Maybe we'll do that. This is why I created my work in a different way, because I know how human minds work, and you take time before you get there. I did the same thing, so I, so I understand it. Um, then, many times that regret, not interpreted by you correctly, has held back your progress. What's that saying there is that I had regret so much because I knew what I was regretting. I was regretting not talking, not getting out and doing what I was supposed to do, just like you, all of us. We're all born with something to fulfill, but we don't know what that is, and it changes. When the world changes, you change. That's what happens. We're all connected. And it doesn't matter how, how successful you've been, how much money you've had, because there's still something else for you to do. I've told you, I've worked with billionaires. I've worked with millionaires. I've coached them. So I know you're not, the money doesn't end it for you. And the money is becoming more important in our world now, and that you'll see very, very soon. Um, okay. That regret that you experience is there to make you aware that you have denied yourself, discounted who you are, and did not appreciate the self that is you. And I did that. And this is why I don't let my clients do that, because I see it in you so easily, because that's my intuitive side. So I can't allow you to go through that because I did it already. Then, it now becomes imperative for you to interpret, reinterpret all of this. And all your regrets also hold meaning and purpose. You could not regret the experiences you have had unless you also knew you were capable of more and that that more is within you. Turn your regrets into motivation because now you have discovered more of your true self. 
And people think that's so strange and people will read, think, listen to these and think, wow, that's so wonderful. Where did it come from? Yeah, I did the same thing because I just channeled it. It's so complicated, difficult for us to, to accept that we have this awareness that exists out of what we know now. And what I was told, what I was given, and I know that it's absolutely true, the work that I was given was to cause you to own who you are, to become your authentic self, to work through your blockages, your restrictions, your biases. That's what's there. We're all moving through it. That's why the world is in chaos right now, because it's waiting for you to work through what you're going to do in this world and make yourself happy and successful. That's really what's happening. And when I was told that it didn't make sense to me and now I see, but I see it now. I see it happening in our world. And unless I do my part, and that's how it feels to me, unless I do my part, we don't have the world that we want to live in. But I see, I see that for everyone. I put out something the other day. I, I'm telling everyone that your success is so important. And this is what I believe. Your success is important to the world. That's why I work so hard to get you there. Another thing I want to clarify client just um, said to me, well, why, why aren't you doing the vocal coaching? Why are you still doing that? I said, I am doing it, but just for a few people, I don't want to keep doing that. My life has, has changed. And I knew that I was supposed to do more. When I started vocal coaching, I'll tell you that story too, because it all started at the same time in 1988 when I started vocal coaching and I was terrified, didn't know what I was going to do. And I didn't have any musical skills. I didn't know how to do that. And now, and then people thought, oh, wow, He's this brilliant, well-known well known vocal coach globally. How did that happen? This guy who doesn't know any music. Most people don't even know, didn't even know that because it was intuitive and I could figure it out. And so when you have that kind of stuff, sometimes it's challenging to accept. However, it doesn't matter. This is what I'm doing now because I have to, because I know that getting you, my client, whoever you are, to become who you're meant to be to become successful is going to help our world heal. If you've got any anger in you, then you haven't discovered who you are. If you have any depression going on, that's just because you're denying something about yourself. That's all. I've gone through all of these things. This is, I don't go through all of my history because it's, uh, you know, not really important here, but I'll give you a snapshot. I've gone through more illnesses and diseases and, and, and addictions and, and, and surgeries and things that I could possibly imagine, and I've healed them all. Now, you would think that I would have gathered some information about how to do that. And I did the same thing in business. I went through so many different ideas and businesses. So when I work with somebody who's doing a business, no, I can give you advice on that because I know. I just received an email yesterday from uh, someone I haven't seen or heard from it since 1979. That was another time where I was giving myself away <laughs> in a certain way, but I can't help it. I love the work that I do no matter what work it was, but I had an agency in New York and I had a former partner and he uh, was the investor he was putting the money in because I was going to be the next big thing I was going to be this next big thing in New York City I was going to have this huge modeling agency and we were going to just take over the world that's what we were going to do and then he reneged on the deal the second half of the deal so he put in the first money which was a lot twenty five thousand dollars and seventy nine was a lot of money and so he put that in but then there was supposed to be another twenty five thousand but he didn't do that and I had to and, and I had to try to figure it out on my own now I'm on I'm, I've got to figure this out and I had this office on Fifth Avenue I couldn't afford that I had to I had to move but I was never going to let go of what I was doing because I had people who were depending on me. And I've always been that person. I can't help that. I've always been that person, but I have to now give more to myself. Because what I did through that entire period, this is why it's so crazy that it just, I just received this email. Um, I moved the office. I gave up my home. I sold everything I could. I was trying to pay the models. What I, I was doing everything until it got to the point where I couldn't do anything. Everything that I had ever had was just gone. And I had to leave. Everything, I left, I left New York and had to, to move to Los Angeles. I, let me start again. I've done that so many times because I know that there is always another way. There's no failure that you ever have that doesn't give you valuable insight and information that you can use to become a success. That's the work that I'm going to do now because it's going to help our world to heal, making others successful.
I love it.